books on iPads. They're awful. It's the worst idea ever to put a book on an iPad. All my, all the kids, all you kids want to do is check your grades all day long. Let me get check my grades. Let me play some game back there. Minecraft. Minecraft. Oh. Minesweeper. That's what I play. The, what are you saying? It's old. What are you, what are you trying to say? A for the day, remind me after lunch, F for the day. I want kids when they leave here to like mathematics. I don't want them to have that fear like math is my least favorite class anymore. So that's always kind of my goal, like to take that stigma away from it. I am not a firm believer in group work in mathematics. When you have a bunch of kids, you have a class of 33 and 30 of the 33 have no clue what you're talking about and then say, hey, sit down with those three students who have no clue what they're talking about and figure out how to solve these, you're wasting time. You're wasting the kids' time. You're giving them chances to talk and do everything else but listen to what you're teaching. All right, we're moving on. Now comes the fun part. This is my secret old book. I never throw a math book away. Come over there, I'll show you 200 math books. You never throw a math book away. It's like throwing a Bible away. No one throws a Bible away. I got R equals negative A over 5 plus A. Negative A over, over five, 5 plus A. That will work. Yes. You know what I did last night? Ew. I saved a baby from a burning building. Liar. You both, liar. There you go. You too. Both of us. Liars. You did it. All right. So the question reads. Here we go. I kind of make it fun. I, you know, I throw a joke in here and there. I, I, I make fun of myself. Kids always love that when you make fun of yourself. You know, you make fun of them in a way that's not harmful. You! Oh my God! <laughs> factorial. You guys know what a factorial is? There you go. All right, homework. talking, your voice is off, you're typing in your homework, then you're going to thinking blocks. If you're on thinking blocks, you know my rule with the iPad. One, I have to be able to see it. You cannot be on the settings, ever. I really love using the technology. I mean, the kids love it. it kind of keeps the urgency alive in my room. With a piece of technology in front of you, your resources are limitless, so you need to use that to help with your score. So don't give me a bogus it didn't type in when you didn't do your homework. Chris, same with you. No, you didn't. Is it in my room? Were you able to show me you did it? Can you prove that you did it? No, so you didn't do your homework. It's such a polarized class. They know the expectation, they just don't always like to meet the expectation. I'm waiting for everyone This needs to be closed in five, four, three, two, Moses. We have been talking about ratios, proportions, um, proportional relationships, linear equations, right? Um, how are we graphing the data? Where are we getting this data from? Yes. Okay, so it starts with an equation. Y equals MX plus B, and what does the M represent? Good thing we're going over this on Monday. Usually I like keeping my lessons 20 minutes and then they go on to small group work where they're working on packets at their own level based on our lesson. Person. How many people can sit in this arrangement? It's six, seven, eight. I don't know if I'm going to So we're going to go by fours again? I think so because it just says the square table. Miss Conhorn is... <laughs> um... I would say energetic and caring. She's nice. Don't, I think that the only reason why she can be mean is because she cares about us and wants us to learn this. If you have one kid off task, then the rest of the class is like, well, why can't I do that? And I, everyone else starts to slide. Juan, your head needs to be up right now. I'll wait. Juan, stand up. Take your notes and stand up in the back. I don't appreciate that I still have to waste other people's time reminding you to look up here. 
if I know everyone's listening and paying attention, like we usually will have a much better class. So I think I'm a little bit more blunt. If we've already done linear equations, we know this is another linear equation. Why is it different? Do we remember this? Yes. It's been two days. My gosh, wake up, eighth grade. Come on. So I'm going to turn that on. Okay, but that doesn't turn the burner on. So if you're going to turn the burner on, you're going to turn this and you'll hear a hiss. There, now you can see it. Okay, so that's pretty high for an experiment, right? That's as high as it gets. Turn them off like this and then turn off the gas. And at the end of the period, I will go and shut us down. Done. Okay, so that's how it works. Yay! We have a new lab and, uh, we, you know, our old labs were built in 1970, so we're really excited about doing labs. And um, kids always come to science hoping to do exciting experiments, and this year we're really going to get to do some fun things. Anybody know the proper way to smell a chemical? How do you do that? Let's do it. We're going to waft. We're wafting. Right, we're going to waft, okay? And we don't want you to be sniffing directly, okay? All right, so let's try something. Um, in your cabinet where your supplies are, you should find a test tube rack. Get it out. Stop. A test tube literally costs 10 cents. So this makes no difference to me at all in my life. So just get it all off the table. First period wins the broken glass contest. I think science should come from kids doing experiments and then figuring it out from there, not me teaching them something ahead of time and then doing it afterwards. So I want them to learn science um, through doing, and it should be fun. I was going to go on your math teacher's website. It's like the most phenomenally organized math class I've ever heard of. Their teacher has videos on there explaining the lesson for some of them. Solving equations with variables on both sides. You should be taking notes throughout this video. Add 8x to both sides. Try to keep it lined up under your x's. This leaves you with 7 equals 12x minus 17. minus 17. Wait, how are you going to study for a test without bringing your science stuff home? Online. Okay. In a textbook. You have a textbook? Online textbook. Okay. Okay, now is there anything you need me for or are you on your own on this one? I just need you to quiz me on this. Okay. <laughs> Let me no, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't need to know potential energy. Never mind. Th what is thermal energy, Emma? It's like when something heats up and then energy is like getting warm and then it gets hot. So what's gravitational potential? It's like gravity pulls it down. Okay, so making it's it turn into potential energy into kinetic energy. was asked me what is a tuning fork tuning forks are used to measure frequencies okay waves travel faster in liquids or in gases liquids. Liquids. in liquids in liquids how do I calculate speed of a wave frequency times wavelength frequency is measured in what hertz, hertz. hertz. speed of a wave is measured in what per second Meters. Meters per second. Very good, very good. I love this age group. Being able to have those discussions and have them, you know, give me, give me back discussions. Um, able to research, able to inquire. I, I love that. On the floor, I want you to make me transverse waves. Which wave can you see the crest better in? Transverse or longitudinal? Transverse. So through on a transverse wave, does the particles move from the medium? No. 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 What moves? The energy. The energy. Now, when we go into the computer lab and the tests start, it's silent time. It's, you can't ask me how you do it. It's a pretest. Okay. Five, four, three, two. These are the different 
categories that you are going to be going into. You will start with applied mathematics. Notice I said start with. So you would do level one and you would click test. If you pass one, you go to two. If you pass two, you go to three. If you pass three, you do what? Stop and go to the next category. Now notice there's 11 different categories. But you might only get through three or four. Now, there's no stigma to this whatsoever. This is just for you. This is a personal thing to help you. Okay, turn around and begin. I'm not sure exactly what the WIN stands for, but the company is called WIN. The program is CRC, Career Readiness Curriculum. Businesses today are saying that students are coming to them and they might have the ability with book work, but they don't know how to apply it into a business world and they don't have the soft skills. I think the lessons themselves will correlate more to different aspects of the different jobs that they might go into. It was easy. Everything, like, the, the questions was very easy. I have no idea why they had me take it. So right now the students are in virtual instruction, which is one of the eight modalities that we have in Teach to One. So each student is working on a skill that is best suited for them. So some students are more advanced, they're working on like algebra skills, while some people are more remedial right now. So they're working on like fractions. Please make sure you're showing examples. Please make sure you're writing down vocabulary. And please make sure you're writing down any steps that you're doing in order to solve the math problems on there. Each student gets a different schedule every single day, so they go to two sessions each day. They could be working on the computer like this, they could be in a small group collaboration, they could be working one-on-one. -on -one. So by switching it up, they're constantly motivated to keep on learning, and I think that uh, they enjoy this. It's something new to them. If you can hear my voice clap three times. Listen up, Mrs. Ferriante is going to be talking. Nonlinear means it's not a line, it curves. So does this, does this uh, line curve or is it a straight line? It's a straight line, so we say that that is a linear equation. A linear equation. All right, Ms. Peterson, take it away. Okay, so you'll work with your group to solve a problem on a piece of paper. So I'm going to walk around and I'm going to be giving points out. Any questions? The whole point of switching the classrooms is because they took a pre-exam and then it determined what the students need to individually work on. So if we know that we're using two gallons and we go 130 miles, how far, can I see your pencil? How sure. far do we go with only one gallon? How could we figure that out? You got this, relax. Okay, so you said we knew that zero gallons we could travel zero miles and then with 65 gallons we could travel one mile. One mile? Hmm, okay, so let's talk about this. Oh wait, that's what I thought. Okay. Bell ring. Can I please have orange papers right here? Make sure names are on it. That's a tricky one. I can't go over that today, could we? Okay, so you gotta think about which one of those would make sense. 
So try your best. If you don't get it, we'll just work on it again tomorrow. Okay, I need you seated. Oh, what do we do with the bell? Okay, good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna dance what? Calabaciado. Spread out, circle up. Nine, 11. Yeah. And your mark, get set, go. One thing I think it teaches them is endurance. So often we see the kids want to stop earlier, or want to quit, or take a break, but I just really want them to continue to keep going. In order to be considered, your child is required to take one admission exam. You are going into the test with about 590 points. His options are wider now. I'm nervous because I don't know what I'm supposed to know or how to study for it. This program is part of American Graduate. Let's make it happen. A public media initiative made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.